Hello guys, welcome to Millionaire by 25. Now on this video course, we're going to be talking about the 33 rules and uh, how to use suggested video loops to go viral on YouTube. So starting off, we're going to be covering what the 33 rules is all about. And uh, so far in this course, I'm going to be explaining exactly what it is. And then I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the 33 rule as fast as possible. So don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a new video. The video course will start right after the intro. Welcome back. So like I said, I will be showing you how to take advantage of the 33 rules and uh, I will be telling you what the 33 rule is all about. Now, let me show you how to take advantage of the 33 rule to determine if your content is working. Then I'll show you what similar metadata is and how to take advantage of it to go viral. And I'll also show you the power of suggested video loops and how you can take advantage of all of this to gain the YouTube algorithm and also go viral. And this is what most professionals do on every single channel that they run. So first of all, what is the 33 rule? Now, if you post 33 videos and none of them are taken off on a single YouTube channel, then it's a sign that you should stop and change the content on that channel. Now, the 33 rule is sort of just a benchmark that I've noticed when uploading a video to a YouTube channel. And uh, you probably would be asking, what do I mean by taking off? Now, I define taking off as getting a similar amount of view as other videos in your niche. So, uh, say other videos and other channels that are doing well in your niche and seeing if any video that you posted are getting similar amount of views. Uh, this is so imperative to take into account because too often people give up if none of their content goes viral immediately. Now, I've seen so many people upload over 15 uh, videos and then uh, give up or probably upload 33 videos or more and then they give up because none of them are getting any views when a little tiny small tweak of their content could change everything and make their content go viral. Now, I've seen so many channels that I thought were completely dead and a small little tweak blew everything up and the rest is history. So this overall lesson here is for you to not give up if you don't see success within your first 33 videos. But instead, change up the videos you're posting. Now, you don't necessarily need to change the niche and that's a big mistake I see a lot of people make as they upload their 33 videos. Let's say they are uploading a video on karaoke and when they upload over 33 videos and they don't see any success, the next thing you see them switch to uploading dance videos. So if you see other videos in your niche doing well, then it is a sign that the problem is not the niche, but the video that you are posting. And not necessarily just the videos because I'm going to show you how to actually look at the analytics and uh, see if it's the video's fault or if it's the thumbnail's fault or if it's the title's fault and uh, really analyze and diagnose what's going on so you can change up your content and get as many views as possible. Also, if you still haven't chosen a niche or you've narrowed down your list of potential niches that you're going to be choosing, I am going to show you how to do market validation for those niches so you can see if they are good and to also see if they are ones that you should actually execute. Because even if you don't see any other popular channels or videos within the niche that you're thinking about doing on YouTube, that doesn't mean that it is a bad niche. I will be showing you our secret keyword strategy as well. So here is a graph of the analytics of someone's channel, which I'll be using as an instance. The first video that he uploaded on this channel, uh, you can see the mark by the little triangle in the bottom left. Now, every little play button that you see right there represents every time he uploaded a video on the channel until the channel completely blew up. Now, it went viral ever since then and uh, it's been making lots of money pretty much on complete autopilot. 
and he has only invested around $1,000 into the content creation on this given channel. And uh, I'm not showing you this to break you. This is actually someone's uh, channel. I'm just showing you this for you guys to get inspired, to show you guys that sometimes channels do blow up quicker than you expect. That if you find something that works, double down on it. Just keep making videos that you know work. But if you don't see uh, some sort of big spike in your analytics before the first 33 videos that you upload, then I think that is a sign that it is time to change up the content. Now, we're going to be talking about what's a similar metadata and how to take advantage of it. So first of all, what is metadata? So that includes your title, your description, your tags, your subtitle. And when you're uploading your videos and you have all this, that is all metadata. Now, in my opinion, the secret to YouTube is similar metadata. Now, this means having similar metadata on all of your YouTube videos that you upload. This means that the more similar all your titles are, the more similar your tags are, and the more similar your descriptions are, the better chances you you have of getting into the suggested feeds within your own video which creates uh, the viewers feedback loops which then means for every person who views your video they're likely to watch a bunch of other videos of yours and i tell you this is how youtube videos go viral and here's an example of a couple videos from someone's personal brand channel. Now, you can see that a lot of the tags here are the same. And here, there's a list of 5 to 10 keywords that was put on every single YouTube video and was uploaded. This is the key and the secret to YouTube. And then this person always finds a way of working these keywords into a section of the description in those red boxes. Now, there's a section of the description that is the same for every single video that he uploads and it includes as many of the keywords that he can possibly use and this is consistent for every single video that he uploads on his YouTube channel and this applies for every niche that you're in if you're running a list channel. Now, this guy does this on all his list channels. We also do that on our list channels. Now, if you're doing this on a personal brand channel, this all applies to you. I'm going to be showing you exactly how we find these keywords. And this is what I like to call the money keywords. And how do we implement them on our YouTube channel? It is by implementing similar metadata like this. So we achieve what are called suggested video loops. And right now, I'm going to show you how you can use suggested video loops to go viral on YouTube. So first of all, what are suggested video loops? Suggested video loops are defined as when a user goes in a loop for watching your video because another one of your video appeared in the suggested video tab. And what I'm going to be showing you here is how to do it and how to predictably get your video in the suggested video tabs of another one of your video. Now, so let's say someone clicks on your YouTube video and you don't have many views on your channel or say you have a lot of views on your channel. A user clicks your video and then at the very top of the suggested video tab on the right hand side of YouTube, they see another one of your videos that they are very likely to click that video and watch the next one. And this is seen so highly within the YouTube algorithm. Now, this is how YouTube channel go viral because let's say for every thousand views that you get on YouTube, let's say just 25% of them go on a feedback loop watching three more of your videos. Now, those are thousands of more views that you otherwise wouldn't have gotten hundreds of minutes of more watch hours, dozens of potential comments, likes, engagements on your videos. And most importantly, it keeps people on YouTube because one of the biggest factor on YouTube is session time. So that means if someone watches one of your video, how long after watching your video do they stay on YouTube? And YouTube rewards points, invisible points within the YouTube algorithm. And the number of ways of doing this is to get viewers to go in suggested video loop. If your video isn't in your own suggested video feed, it's not just a missed opportunity, but your channel is literally leaking views. So it is your job to tell YouTube that 
you deserve the first spot, that first suggested video spot by implementing consistent metadata and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And then how to find that set of keywords that you're going to put on every single video that you upload on your channel. Also how to find keywords that you would put on certain sections of your videos and how to find a set of keywords that you would put on your channel's keywords and this drastically improves your chances for going viral on YouTube. So I hope this explains what similar metadata is and what suggested video loops is as well and uh, what the 33 rules is also. And the purpose of all of this is to give you a better understanding of how YouTube works. And more importantly, how you can then use the YouTube algorithm to get tons of views into whatever kind of video that you want. So I hope this helps you guys. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you our favorite YouTube tool on the market. And then I'm going to be showing you how to find those lists of keywords that you're going to be putting on every single video that you upload and how to implement this consistent metadata thing. So don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop our videos. See you on the next video course.